everybody, it's Stephanie, and today we are doing a wall workout. So the only prop you need is a wall. Or if you're like me, you can use your RV right at the campsite. So shout out to Camping World before we go, because Camping World is sponsoring this workout. There are Camping World stores all over the US, and I know this because I've been in a lot of them. So check them out in the description. And with that, let's go work out. All right, gang, we're gonna start by facing our wall with your hands on it. Your feet back away though, so you're leaning into it in a plank. And then we're gonna alternate lunges forward. Looks like this. You're gonna lunge forward with your right and return and your left. And your arms are gonna naturally bend with the movement, but you're always placing your feet back. Keep going, lunge return. Your core is tight. Nice job. Keep going. And return. Lunge. I call these spider lunges. <laughs> I do them a lot with my clients. I love how it's a whole body move. Everything's working. It's great for a warm up. All right, let's do three more. Two more. And last one, great job. All right, standing up, let's keep facing the wall. Get your feet wide, turn your toes outward. So, and then we're gonna alternate reaching down the wall. So I'm rotating so I can reach down the wall. And then let's do that the other way and see how far you can reach down your wall. To do that, you're gonna have to lunge your knee, whichever knee is the direction you're reaching. All right, let's try that with the rhythm of the music, with the B. So we're gonna reach, return, reach, return. Get that lunge in there, return. Really reach, return. Using the space, how far down the wall can you reach? Keep going, reach and return. Let's do four more, return. Three, return. Two, and last one. All right, great job. Let's stay here. Let's get in another hand plank. So your feet are out, your body is in a straight line, you're leaning into the wall. Now let's add some heel curls. Looks like this. You're gonna curl your heel up, and then curl the other heel up. Return to your plank. So curl one up, return to the plank, curl the other one up. Now you don't want your hips to drop, or your glutes to stick out while you do these. Make sure you stay aligned. Curl, return, curl, return. Now try not to sway side to side either. The only thing that should be moving is, is your ankle, your whole shin area, your foot, your lower leg. Curl, return, curl. Let's do two more. Curl, return, all right, let's stay in this plank though, and we're gonna do a piked plank. To do that, all you're gonna do is drive your hips back. It looks like this. Go back, back, and then back up into your hand plank. Again, back, back, and straighten, straighten. Go back. Doesn't this feel good? Straighten, straighten. Keep going. Piking, and return. Good job. I'm going to do about four more because they feel so good. <laughs> Three more. Up, up. You got two more pikes. Up. And here's our last one. And up. Great job. All right, let's stand sideways now to the wall. Get sideways. And I want to lean into the wall. And from here, I want you to reach one arm up and we're just gonna drive our elbow and our knee of the outer, outer arm and leg together, just like that. Let's go with the music. So crunch, return, crunch, extend, tight through your core, crunch. You wanna exhale right here as you're doing the crunch. Keep going. Leaning into the wall. You can make it harder by 
pulling your feet even further away from the wall. We got two more and last one. Awesome job, you guys. Turning to the other side, here we go. Leaning into the wall, reaching one hand up and crunch, extend, crunch, extend. Notice how my knee is a little out diagonal. I'm not crunching my knee and elbow right in front of my body. It's more a little out to the side. So make sure you're doing that too. That hits your obliques more instead of our, just our rectus abdominis and our stomach. Exhale, extend, exhale, extend. Three more, two, and last one. Great job. All right, coming back, facing our wall again. We wanna do a little tricep push up here. So this time, bring your hands down the wall lower because what we're gonna do is press into the wall and then come back up. So set yourself up to do that move. Pressing in, elbows stay close to your sides. Fingertips are facing up. Pressing in. Now that you're a pro at a tricep wall push up, we're gonna add a lunge back and it looks like this right there. So press into the wall with your other foot, lunge it back right there. Do it again. So we've got our press in and then our lunge. Press in and lunge back. So we're alternating legs. Press in and lunge. You can make this harder by getting your feet further away from the wall, just like any move we do. The more body weight you're leaning into the wall, the harder the exercise and more challenging it is. You work at your level and, and lunge. Let's do two more and lunge. Last one and lunge. All right, great job. Staying with that lunge theme, take one foot forward. Let's get into a lunge position against the wall. And we're gonna use this to stretch through your hip, open your hip and work your posture. Now, reach your arm up, the same arm of the knee that's forward. And then we're going to exhale and drive your arm down to touch your leg as you straighten that leg. So this is a pyramid pose in yoga. So let's try that again. Let's come way up into this crescent lunge, bent knee of the forward leg, and now straighten that leg, straight, 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 and drive your hand down as far as you can go down the leg and touch on the leg. All right, now that you know those two poses, let's flow through those. So there's lunge and straight pyramid. Come up, lunge and straight pyramid. Lunge and straighten that leg. Do your pyramid pose and lunge and pyramid. One more time, lunge. All right, great job. Got to do that on the other side because we want to be even, right? Okay, let's get into your, your lunge position. So your knee is bent of the front leg. Leg is straight on the back. Raise your arm up, same side as the bent leg, holding your lunge. And now straighten your leg. We're coming down for the pyramid, you know it. Reach your hand down your leg wherever you can go. All right, come back up. We're gonna do the slow one more time through and then we're gonna speed it up. Start straightening your leg, guys. Get into that pyramid position. Doesn't that feel nice? All right, coming back up to your lunge. Let's go faster, here we go. Straighten and lunge. All right, straighten and lunge. Straighten, get your hand down there. How far can you go? Lunge, bend that knee. Straight. And lunge, do one more with me. You're doing great, guys, straight. And lunge, all right. Let's go back to some sideways work. We need a new view, let's go sideways. All right, so this time I want you leaning into the wall and we're gonna do a, a crescent lunge. Here, so as that arm is activated and those muscles are working on your arm, 
your legs are gonna be doing a calf raise on the back leg. So it looks like this. You're just gonna go up and down. Get up on your tippy toes. Really stretching, strengthening through your calf. Okay, now that you got that, we're gonna add an arm. Looks like this. You're gonna reach forward and pull. Forward, pull. Squeezing your shoulder blade into your spine. Pull. Exhaling with the pull right here. Reach. Keep that front knee bent. This shouldn't be easy. If it's easy, make your lunge even wider. Three more. Two. Ah, uh, you guys are awesome. Stay with me, we're going to the other side now. Great job. Get into that lunge, that crescent lunge again. Add the calf raise, here we go. Up and down, up and down. Remember your core is tight, up and down. Your chest is up. Always good posture, right? Up, let's add the arm, here we go. Reach and pull, reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. Doing great guys, shoulder blade to the spine. Three more, two, and last one right there. All right, let's face the, the wall or the van or whatever you're using again. And I wanna get into, oh, actually, no, turn. Sorry about that. I wanna do a hip hinge here. So what I want you to do is drive your hips back to touch the wall and then straighten yourself up core tight. Now, if that's really easy, if you're close to the wall, then I want you to step a half inch away, try again so it's a little more challenging. Don't go too far, I want you safe on these. All right, so we're lunging, not lunging, we're hinging back, that's the word for this. So hinge and up, hinge and up. Great job, you guys. So now notice how my knees aren't bending all that much. They're bending, but they're not bending as much as my hips are. That's because the hips are driving this show here. Hips are driving back, and we're squeezing our glutes when we come up. Let's do four more, and up. Three more, up, two more, and last one. Awesome. Okay, put your back up against the wall now. Squat down. So we're doing a wall sit here, but don't go too low, because I want to be here for a moment. Because what I wanna do now is I wanna work on your neck. So let's rotate your neck over to the left and go as far as you can. Now hold it there, stay there. Four, three, two. All right, come back to me. Come straight forward again. Let's do that again to the same side. Don't go to the other side yet. So whatever side you just went to, go again. Rotating, hold it there for four, three, two. Awesome, straight on again. All right, you feeling your quads? Woo, I am. If you need to, you can come up out of it a little, but let's go to the other side now with our neck. So rotate your neck as far as you can. Hold it there. Four, three, two, one. Come straight again, give it a break, and let's go back into that rotation. Go as far as you can. Hold it there, four, three, two, and one. All right, great job. Come up, my quads are happy we're done with that one. Get back into your plank position on, on the van, on the wall, whatever you're using. And let's go into those forward lunges again like this. Lunge and lunge. Remember the spider lunges? And return. Lunge, return. So your elbows are driving out to the sides. Your core is tight. And you're driving your feet back as far as you can handle. And you're leaning into your wall. Return, lunge, return. Lunge, return, lunge. Doing great, guys. Couple more. Let's do three more. Two and one. All right, great. Stay facing the wall, but get your feet wide and turn your toes out 
and let's do those rotating reaches. So rotate as far as you can reach down your wall and then rotate the other way as far as you can and reach down your wall. Make sure you're getting that lunge in there. And let's go with the music now. So lunge and straighten, lunge and straighten, lunge. Good job. Really reach. How far can you go? Lunge and straighten. I can get all the way to Lance's door handle. <laughs> and straighten, lunge, straight, lunge. Let's do two more. And straight. Awesome. Great job, you guys. Hand plank again. You are getting so good at hand planks. Remember the heel curls? I want to do those again, so join me. Just jump right in. Curl and straighten. Curl and straighten. Oh, you know what? I just saw in my shadow that I'm kind of leaning side to side as I do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Try to hold yourself in one position. Don't allow yourself to rock side to side. There, now I'm more solid. And return, curl. That's hard to do, isn't it? It's hard to take that rock out. All right, let's do two more. And return, and one more. Great. Now remember those pikes we did? You might want to lower your fingers about an inch down the wall. Then we're going to drive our hips back. So we're turning our body into like an inverted V. And then we come back to our plank. So, pike and plank. Pike, drive your hips back as far as you can on the plank. Your stomach gets nice and tight, so does your whole core. Plank again. Pike and plank. Awesome, let's do two more. Pike, plank. Here's our last one of these. Pike and plank. All right, great job, you guys. Let's go into another side plank here. Let's go into an elbow side plank. So get your whole forearm down, leaning into the wall. And do you remember that knee to elbow crunch we did? Let's do those again. Ready? Here we go. Crunch, extend, exhale, extend. Your knees out diagonal from you. Though if that hurts, you can do this crunch and right in front of you if you need to. But try to go diagonal so we hit those obliques nicely. Crunch, exhale, extend, exhale. Let's do two more. And last one, right there. All right, going to the other side because we want to be even. Just as strong on both sides of our body. Get your arm up, ready, here we go. Crunch, extend, crunch, extend. Exhale, extend, crunch, extend. It's a beautiful day here. I hope wherever you are, it is too. Three more, extend, two more, and last one right there. All right, great job, guys. So let's go back to those tricep push-ups we did one other time. Remember, lower your hands down the wall and then we're gonna do just a little press into the wall and a return. Practice a couple more times just to make sure you got it. Remember your elbows stay real close to your sides on a tricep push-up. Your elbows aren't driving outward, they stay close in. Okay, now that we got that, let's add a lunge back. So it's gonna be a press into the wall, lunge. Press, lunge. Press, lunge. Press, keep going. Make sure when you lunge back, you're just tapping back mostly. Most of your weight stays on the front foot. That way we really load up your glute nicely. We're working your hips and strengthening through those. Lunge. And lunge. Press. Let's just do one more. All right, great job. Okay. Do get back into a lunge position though, but this time we're gonna hold it. Holding it there, up tall, stretching the hip. 
reach your arm up, the same arm as the bent knee. And remember when we went down from here to a pyramid? We're gonna do that again. So let's straighten your leg, reach your hand down your leg, and now you're in pyramid pose. And let's go back up to the lunge. Reach up, bend your front leg, and drop back into that pyramid pose. Way down there, how low can you go? Good job, coming back up. All right, let's do this to the music now. Ready, here we go. Pyramid and lunge, pyramid and reach. Straighten and bend, straighten, bend. Let's do four more, three. Oh, it feels so great on my hips. Two and one. Great job, you guys. All right, stay with me, we're getting there. You're this far in, you might as well stick it out, right? All right, we switch legs. Our leg is bent, the forward leg is bent. We're reaching up to hold that lunge. And now we're gonna drop into the tri, the, sorry, not triangle, it's a pyramid. You're gonna straighten your leg, reach your hand down as far as you can, hold it there. Leg is straight, right? Both legs. Good, and come back up and do that lunge again, reaching way up. And let's go back into that straight leg pyramid, reach down. All right, come back up to your lunge. This time, let's go with the music. Ready, here we go. So straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Pyramid, lunge, pyramid, lunge. Keep going, four more. Up, three, up, two, and one. Great job. All right, let's go sideways again. Changing up the scenery, leaning into the wall. Let's get into that crescent lunge again. So we're opening up our hip here and let's add that calf raise of the back leg. So go up and down, up and down. Let's do that reach and pull again with it. Reach and pull. All the while, we're leaning into the wall. So we're activating our body on that other side too. Five more, pull, four, three, you got two more guys. And here's our last one. Great job, going to the other side now. Same thing, get in your lunge. Front leg is bent. And let's add the calf raise on the back leg. Going up to your tippy toes and down, up and down. Leaning into the wall, up and down. Let's add the arm, here we go. So reach and pull, reach, pull. Keep going, pull, reach. Make sure you're adding an exhale on the pull, reach, pull, and then get that heel way up there. Let's just do two more, reach, pull, and last one right there, great job. Now we're facing our back to the wall and I wanna go back into those hip hinges, remember those? So that's where we're driving your hips back until they touch the wall and then we're straightening up. So take a moment and just practice and figure out how far you need to be. Once you get there, join me, join the beat. Me and the beat. <laughs> Here we go, touch and straighten. Remember, you're squeezing your glutes on the way up. You're exhaling on the way up. Core is tight. Reach. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Great job, let's keep our back to the wall, but now let's put our back up against the wall. Slide down into a wall sit. Get your head back too. And remember the neck rotation we did? Let's do that again. So rotate as far as you can. Hold, hold, hold. 
good job. And straighten, give your neck a break. Ready, go again, same side. Rotate, rotate, hold it there and release. Two more times, back to the same side. Rotate as far as you can. And release. One more time that side, rotate. See if you can go a little more this time. Hold it there, hold, hold, and release. Other side, you should be feeling your quads by now. If not, sink down a little lower. Release. All right, rotate again, that same side. Rotate your neck, look over your shoulder. How far can you go? Release. You got two more of those, ready? Here we go. Rotate and hold, hold, and release. You got one more, ready? Here we go. Rotate and release. Come up a little, keep leaning against the wall though. I wanna do some snow angels now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your arms all the way up along the wall, trying to keep your arms in contact with the wall. Can you do it? So up, 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 and down. This is such a great stretch for your chest and your shoulders. Go up. And this is one of those posture helping stretches. Down, down. Make sure you're keeping your head back on the wall too. Can you do all that? It's harder than it looks, isn't it? Takes a lot of flexibility to keep your arms running along the wall. This is a great one to even do when you're lying in bed. And down, two, three. Two more, up, 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 and down, down, down. One more, up, 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 and down, down. Awesome. All right, let's go into our stretching and cool down phase now. All right, coming into our stretches, let's start with a sideways shoulder stretch. So stand sideways to your wall and put your fingertips facing backwards on the wall. Then your near foot, put it a little more forward and then take your shoulder and just kind of turn it away from the wall. And you're gonna feel a wonderful stretch through your arm and your shoulder right through there. So that's what we're looking for right there is that nice stretch. It's gonna help your posture too, opening up that part of your anterior chain, getting your shoulders up and back more. It's a great stretch. You feel nice? All right, let's do that one on the other side. Same thing, fingertips are running back and you're pushing your shoulder forward and out. You're in a split stance. Ah, nice. Keep holding it there. Great job. All right, let's face our wall now. Let's do a little bit more stretching in that same area. Reach your hands up the wall. Get in a split stance again. So one foot is forward and one is back. And now drop your head between your arms more. I'm a little too close to my wall. So that way you can feel a really nice stretch in your underarm area. That's part of your chest and shoulders again. Again, this is gonna help your posture be up and back more. And it just feels nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Great job staying with me today, you guys. It is a lot of work exercising every day, but it just is so worth it. It's the one way we can really work to age well. All right, we're gonna reach one hand down the wall now. We kind of did something, remember our pyramid? This is like our pyramid, but now let's have the other hand join you down there. So lower the other hand. So now we're deep into this pyramid stretch. One hand can be on the wall for balance. And or you if you're OK with it, you can take both hands and put them down on the ground or on your leg. Or you can just keep holding the wall. 
keep going with our wall themed workout. All right, slowly walk up from that and let's switch feet that's forward. Take your other foot forward now and get in that split stance and let's do that shoulder chest stretch again. So hands are up the wall. You're leaning into the wall so you feel a nice stretch through your shoulders. Holding it there. So relaxing. All right, now let's walk back down, putting one hand on your foot or on the floor. And we can deepen that stretch a little bit more right here like this. Good job, guys. Walking back up. And let's get into a nice deep calf stretch here. So we're just pushing your heel of the back leg down. Push against the wall, push that heel down. Great job. Feels good on the calf, doesn't it? My calves are always sore. So I love any chance I can get to stretch them. All right, let's go on to a calf stretch on the other side. Same thing, both toes are pointed forward. You're pushing against the wall to really push your weight into the heel of the back foot to deepen that calf stretch there. Ah, oh, feels so nice. All right, we're coming out of that. And again, put your back against the wall and let's just take two big breaths up and exhale down. One more of those, big breath up. And exhale down. All right, and that completes this workout. Thanks for staying with me through it. Great job, you guys. I have lots more workouts over on the Fit RV, so check those out. Otherwise, see you on the road. Be well, all.